Well, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Yes, we've got it out again. Everyone's favorite rifle, including mine, the Henry Lever Action 4570. It's crazy to think that just a couple years ago, I really wasn't even into lever guns, and now this is probably my favorite rifle that I've ever owned. So I'm sure you've all seen it by now, but if you're new to the channel, this is the Henry All Weather lever action 4570 and it is a beauty so this video is actually not going to be as much about the rifle although anytime we bring this gun out it basically steals the show but for a long time you guys have been asking me to get more powerful 4570 ammo as if it's just fallen off the shelves it's obviously not but recently i was able to find some online that i think checks that box because this stuff is pretty dang powerful. And here it is, the 460 grain plus P hard cast grizzly. And you can see what that monster looks like up close. So this is a big game round, bear, buffalo, stuff like that. And hard cast just means it's not gonna break apart or deform and ultimately, keep its shape and get more penetration than a regular lead bullet would. Now it's obviously not the most powerful 4570 ever made. There's always gonna be something bigger and better, but it is a 460 grain plus P hard cast 4570. And let me tell you, the recoil on these is significantly more than any other 4570 that I have. It's almost on par with the 375 H&H big game rifle. A few weeks ago, I shot a ballistic dummy lab head with one of these and it was intense, I'll just say that. So I thought we would come out today, make a full video on these and see what this ammo can actually do. But before we get started, I wanna thank our sponsor for today's video, the Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI offers online firearms technology degrees that can help you achieve your goals in the firearms industry, whether that's gunsmithing, ballistics, armors, courses, basically get your black belt in all things firearms, SDI can help you get there. And as you all know, firearm sales are soaring right now. There's never been a better time to get an education and kickstart a career in the firearms industry. So visit sdi.edu to sign up and check for the link down in the description box below. I knew it. <laughs> Who needs sights when you can just shoot it from the hip? At some point, I'm going to have to stake that target down because it falls every time I shoot it. All right, so we're going to start small and work our way up like we always do. First up, we have the 405 grain Remington. This is actually a heavy bullet, but it's a really light pressure load. I kind of want to break the shoulder in before we step up to the Buffalo bullet. If you're just wanting to plink with the 4570, this is definitely my favorite ammo. It doesn't kick hardly at all. Let's see if we can knock our target over again. Screw it, it's staying down. And next up, we have the 300 grain Federal Fusion. So a lighter bullet than the last one that we shot, but this is actually a full power load. So it's got quite a bit more recoil. I've got a second camera off to the side. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see the difference in recoil between these. <laughs> Caught the shell casing. The 300 grain Precision One hollow point. I'm running low on some of this ammo, so we're just gonna shoot a couple and then we'll get to the big stuff. Same bullet weight as the Federal, but if I remember right, this one kicks a little bit harder. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I forgot I had two in the magazine tube, so we actually got one more. That's a loud one. And one of my favorites, the 325 grain Hornady FTX. These are definitely the sexiest, which is why I usually keep them in my shell holder here, because they look cool. But they're also very effective. It's not all about looks, although that is important. And the ones we're all here to see, the 460 grain plus P hard cast grizzly. So you probably shouldn't shoot steel targets with hard cast bullets, but just for you guys, I'll shoot a couple. Get ready for the recoil. <laughs> God. Ugh. Big difference. <laughs> Almost knocked that target over, which never happens. Ugh. Big difference. <laughs> now, hard cast is not the same as like steel core, so it's probably not the worst thing for your target, but I kind of want to see if we put any dents in this thing. So it doesn't look like it. You can definitely see 
where those hard cast bullets hit <laughs> just because of the color difference but it doesn't look like they actually dented the steel. So this is a shoot steel target, which are the best in my opinion, and this is an AR-550 shoot steel target, so it's extra strong, and as you can see, the hard cast bullets did not leave a dent. But they did leave a dent in my shoulder. So it's probably gonna be tough to see a difference because these are pretty small, but I wanna try some watermelons and see if our Buffalo Slayer is any more impressive than the other ones. We'll go ahead and skip the Remington since it's kinda weak and go straight to the 300 grain Precision One. Like I said, I'm sure all these rounds are gonna explode these watermelons, so it's probably gonna be tough to see a difference, but let's see. <laughs> I don't know if it can get much more dramatic than that. And the 325 grain Hornady. Also, the Grizzly is the only one of these that's not a hollow point, so it might actually do less damage. Let's see what the Hornady does. Dude, shooting watermelons never gets old. You can hear it raining down all around you for like 10 seconds after you shoot it. All right, here it is, the 460 grain plus P Grizzly. Let's see if we notice a difference with this one. I'm really gonna try not to flinch on this one because I wanna hit that watermelon right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I noticed a difference. That one was definitely impressive, but they kinda all were. The expanding bullets might have actually done more damage going through that watermelon. To me, the Precision One looked like it just disintegrated it the best, but I'm not sure. Let's try a penetration test and really see what this bullet can do. All right, guys, the final test we're gonna do today is the penetration test, and this is where these heavy, hard cast bullets are really supposed to shine. So on the table here, I have four five gallon buckets that I filled with water and left outside for about a week. Now, obviously my goal was to get these things to freeze all the way through, but unfortunately, I don't think they have. I would say it's probably 80% ice with a little bit of water in there. So if these were frozen solid all the way through, I would say there's no way that bullet is gonna get through all four. But since there's some water in there, it might. I still think it'll probably only go through one or two, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. And it looks like my table is about to fold in half, so we should probably do this quick. And of course, for this one, we're shooting the 460 grain plus P hard cast grizzly. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my final prediction. Even though there's water in there, I think it'll probably go through the first one and stop in the second one. It's pretty tough to get through, let's see. Well, it looks like it definitely made it to the second one. <laughs> Alright, so it obviously just blew right through that first one. We have ice all over the place and you can see how it just basically ripped that five gallon bucket from top to bottom, and it looks like it might have grazed the metal handle. There's our exit hole on that first bucket. Entrance hole on the second bucket is way smaller than the first one. It didn't do nearly the collateral damage, just kind of punched right through. And then over here, you can see that as it exited that second bucket, it literally pulled the metal handle into the third one. <laughs> with the bullet what are the odds of that that had to have been a perfect hit on that metal handle for it to drag that thing into the third bucket <laughs> it actually didn't break the metal handle it just brought it to a really sharp point and i assume our bullet is in that third bucket because i don't see an exit hole coming out the back and there's a big old chunk of ice that just slid out of the bucket and there's our bullet. So even after going through two and a half buckets of mostly ice, it did not break apart at all. It deformed just a little bit, but really not bad. And that is 100%
of that hard cast bullet. And that thing is a monster. So after all that, we were able to recover this big old chunk of lead that I'm definitely gonna keep as a souvenir now. But even after going through all that ice and water and plastic buckets, it managed to stay intact. I bet if we weighed this, it would be like 455 grains. We might have lost a little bit, but I think that's probably 99% of our bullet. And I think it's safe to say, this would probably take care of just about anything. And here we got a big old chunk of ice that slid right out of one of our buckets. Let's see if we can destroy it. <laughs> that was awesome. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the 460 grain plus P hard cast Grizzly 4570. That's a mouthful, but man, that is an impressive round. It's probably not quite on the level of like an elephant gun round, but I would definitely feel comfortable defending myself against dangerous game with a bullet like that. There's not too many things on planet Earth that would survive a shot from one of those. It's definitely a tank. So hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.